No, private property rights starts with oneself, and that is that every person in, uh, is uh, owns their own uh, body. This isn't a new concept. Rothbard, of course, talked about this, but this is a concept that has been explained for, for centuries, right? Where you, as an individual and a free individual, own yourself and your body, and therefore nobody has, obviously, a right to aggress upon you. So in the terms of private property rights, you can look at something like violence being, um, let's say, a like physical violence, that is, being a violation of someone's private property rights, even though it's dealing with someone's body, because that's a that's a um, a harmful, let's say, bodily invasion. Look at it like that. All rights extend uh, uh, from that. And if you don't have that, well, you don't have certainly rights at all. And certainly what this is dealing with labor, essentially what the state is saying is that this person should be required to work for someone else by way of use of aggression, essentially force the state. Right. So they have a right to that is what they are uh, assuming wrongfully that they have. And this is the you know, all these states have these. You have obviously the Civil Rights Act, but all these states often we talked about Oregon and we talked about these other states that have these like civil rights um, uh, acts within their own state. And often they cover stuff like that, where basically you can't deny anybody service for those reasons. Well, if this was a just society, if you will, you'd be able to deny people. For whatever reason that it is. And you get folks would say, well, you're black, right? Well, what if people denied you service because they're black? Uh, yeah, they have a right to do that. It's their private property. Oh, I can't believe I can't believe you said that. We're going back to the to the, to the uh, 50s and 60s where people will have signs on their on the door and saying that they don't serve blacks. Yeah, I, I would prefer that they that they do that. That way I'm not giving my money. See, this is what the Civil Rights Act's have allowed these people to do. The actual racist. They get to hide behind these uh, uh, these. Like the laws. Right. So, you know, you're basically going and making these these exchanges with people that hate your guts. I'd rather you tell me, hell, maybe I open up a business right across the street from your stupid behind and take your money because I'm the one that will accept everybody's money as opposed to not want. Like, see, there's ways around this that can be voluntary. But the this is what rights these are. This, this, you might not like the way people express it, but that's what rights are. The ability to be able to express it, the rights are contingent on that. And if they can't, well, you are denying. It's not them not having a right. More accurately putting it, you're denying them the ability to express their right. You're impeding upon their right to private property. People, and it doesn't matter if it's because they don't like the fact that your nose uh, is uh, built the way that it is. They don't like the fact that, you know, you, you got one eye. Uh, they don't like the fact that, you know, you came in the store walking funny. It does not matter what it is. Doesn't matter. Right. You, you, you too hairy. You got hair on your shoulders like me, a man. Right. Too much testosterone flowing through you. Right. Doesn't matter. They have the right to deny you service because that's their private property. For whatever reason, it does not matter. Now, that doesn't mean you have to agree with it. Right. But this shows you that this is a game, right? This These guys are acting as if they would much rather these institutions be forced to be enriched <laughs> by them because that's not what this is. This is about punishing a person who on his own beliefs does not want to make that style of cake. And he shouldn't have to. But you have these tyrants, little petty tyrants, who believe that the state should be utilized to punish their ideological enemy. And the, this happens in courts all of the time. And this is why these court systems definitely in America are among some of the most rotten, though you'd like to think of it as this sort of advanced nation. This is insane.